there is to work with on campus? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I tweeted this out after we secured the championship. I, I think maybe it's, and maybe people who are really focused on football and basketball, you know, um, maybe other than the bowl game, which was, uh, you know, 57 years in the making, might have been my most satisfying moment as athletic director because I'm aware of what little Doug Reynolds and our young ladies have to work with out there. Um, you know, in the history of the program, this is the first uh, conference championship that we've won from an indoor standpoint. And when you have limitations, you know, that used to be a public use track mm -hmm. up until a few years ago with, with ruts from baby carriages in there, with animals, um, you know, people taking their dogs out there, doing their business out there. It was in no way, shape, or form uh, anywhere used to a, a competitive intercollegiate track. And in just three years, you know, Doug Reynolds, you know, had a plan, um, not just to build up the team, but how to win a championship. And, you know, um, I get, you know, it's funny, I, I call Chris Jans after uh, he beat Bakersfield, and um, I was thinking, man, this is the most unhappiest guy who's won 26 games, because he's always thinking about this, that, and the other. And, uh, you know, Doug, over the last years, has just constantly, whenever we talk, talk about strategy, points, things like that. And he just to see somebody come in, uh, take a situation with unbelievably limited budget, non-existent facilities. Um, we, you know, we just broke new coaches' offices last year. I mean, they were in a, in a defunct building on campus. Uh, it's been unbelievably satisfying to see what somebody's been able to do with that little resources, um, facilities that, you, that are unable to host an intercollegiate uh, meet. And uh, I'm very happy that there's some things uh, coming on the horizon for the program. Um, you know, I called one of our state legislators who was uh, a contributor to um, what will be a new track surface. You know, I'm very excited that after, you know, our outdoor season is over, that project will start to take place. And, you know, and, and I'm going to make um, the, the, the track meet that we host, um, you know, maybe um, not this spring, but next spring being the biggest thing in the world because it'll be maybe 17 years uh, since we've hosted a college track meet at New Mexico State, so that'll be a very satisfying day as well. What more has to be done? What more can you do? Who can you continue to lobby to see that the program rises to the level that Doug is hoping for? Sure. Well, you know, I was very fortunate, and the person that um, recommended Doug to me was Connie Price-Smith, who's the Team USA track and field coach, and she was my track and field coach at Southern Illinois University. And I saw what we were able to do because we built the track from the ground floor. You know, I do think we need to move um, some of our throwing cages out of that area that they currently are so we can just have a track and a separate throws area. Um, you know, I, I don't think we necessarily need to move offices and locker rooms um, you know, out to the track, but um, outside of the resurfacement and the moving of our throws area, um, you know, I'm going to rely on Doug to tell us, hey, these are the things that, you know, can get us to that next level of consistency. Uh, might, you know, be operational recruiting dollars, things like that. But, um, you know, there is some good news on the horizon uh, from a facility standpoint, and um, I, I think it's wonderful that it just kind of dovetails with the with a historic uh, first-ever championship in indoor uh, track and field.